The UCT Confucius Institute for Ireland was launched in 2006 by Mr. Zhen Peiyan, the Vice Premier of China. It is a joint venture between Renmin University of China and the University College Dublin. Our mission is to work with government, business, and academia to develop stronger educational, cultural, and commercial links between China and Ireland. Our ultimate goal is to build a bridge of mutual understanding between Irish and the Chinese people. After the establishment of Confucius Institute, we conducted two nationwide surveys in Ireland. According to the result of the survey, there is a huge demand for teaching Chinese as a foreign language in Irish schools. Therefore, we developed the teaching pack for the transition year. And now over to Ireland. Chinese language and studies has been approved as part of the Irish school curriculum. We also surveyed the Irish business sectors and published a book entitled Doing Business in China, The Irish Experience, leading to the collaboration with major Irish companies. We offer a diverse range of classes in Mandarin and cultural activities for all ages. This is invaluable for Irish people wishing to do business in China and the government officials to start their mission in China. We also provide training courses for local Irish teachers to teach Mandarin as a foreign language. We see public events and competition as an important outreach to serve the communities in Ireland and to cultivate greater cultural understanding. The Chinese Bridge Competition demonstrates how well Irish people have learned Chinese language and culture. And the regional winner go to Beijing and compete in the final. There have been almost 300,000 young people from all over the world competing. They are true heroes for the Chinese language. In sports, the Confucius Cup is awarded each year to the best players in table tennis and a good tournament, and so promotes traditional Chinese games. The annual Spring Gala showcases the best of Chinese performing arts to the Irish public. This has grown to be the signature celebration of the Chinese New Year in Ireland. We initiated and sponsored a weekly radio program called Hello China. Dear audience, you are now listening to Hello China at 103.2 WCDFM. Now let's look at some breaking news of China. Over the years, we have been honored by distinguished visitors to the Institute. Xi Jinping, now the President of China, Li Changchun, then the member of Standing Committee of the Party Bureau of the CPC. Guo Jinglong, Mayor of Beijing. Liu Yunshan, Senior Chinese Leader. In recognition of outstanding achievement and contribution towards the Chinese and the Irish bilateral relationship, the Confucius Medal was awarded to Guo Jinglong, Mayor of Beijing, for his contributions. One of my ambitions when I became Lord Mayor was to achieve a twinning with Beijing. And if it weren't for the Confucius Institute in UCD, I don't think that would have happened. Ms. Declan Culliher, former ambassador of Ireland to China, and Dr. Sahelin, former Chinese ambassador to Ireland, and Madam Xu Lin, Director General of Hanbei, are also recipients of this award. The new Confucius Institute building is the first of its kind outside China, co-financed by two governments. So we're expecting great things from the Confucius Institute going forward. We expect to see it as the model Confucius Institute for the whole world. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, a warm welcome to UCD on this very important historical moment. We are here to witness the unveiling of the foundation stone and the official sword turning for the new building of UCD Confucius Institute.
Today we are grateful for the success of the Institute and for the cooperation of the Irish people and the governments of China and Ireland. I think what the Confucius Institute is doing and has done is to have opened the door of China to Ireland. We look forward to a long-lasting and a mutually rewarding relationship and a continued success bridging the Chinese culture with the West.